Hello students, I am Bipul Mittal and in this session I will discuss fair value definition. So how fair value is defined, how it is defined by the FASB and how it is defined in topic 820 of the accounting standard codification. So fair value definition you find in topic 820 of accounting standard codification. All right. So you have an asset or you have a liability and you want to determine its fair value. Let's see. Pay value is the price that would be received to sell an asset or pay to transfer a liability in an orderly transaction between market participants at the measurement date. A lot of things. So it is a price that would be received you're going to receive when you sell an asset. So what you would receive if you sell an asset? It is not the price that you pay to buy an asset, to acquire an asset, no. What you would receive, you already have an asset and you want to determine its fair value. What you would receive if you sell? So it is an exit price. What you would pay to transfer a liability, to settle a liability, what if this asset moves out of your business? What if this liability moves out of your business? How much you have to pay so that this liability moves out of your business? How much you will get when this asset moves out of your business? So it is an exit price. It is not an entry price. This price may be for a single asset or a single liability or a group of assets or a group of liability or a group of assets and liabilities. It could be anything. It could be for one asset or for multiple assets or one liability or multiple liabilities or a group of assets and liabilities. But certainly it is the price that you get to sell an asset or you pay to transfer a liability in an orderly transaction between market participants at the measurement date, the date you are measuring the value of the asset or liability. Now, what is this orderly transaction? Because this price that you would get to sell an asset should be in an orderly transaction. We are not talking about forced transaction. So it is not a forced transaction. For suppose if you are required to sell the asset, you are required, you have to sell the asset to meet the regulatory requirements. It is a forced transaction. And the price that you would get in such a transaction is not orderly transaction. Because it is a forced transaction. Or seller is selling the asset in distress. For example, seller is in bankruptcy, seller is in need of funds, desperately in need of funds, has to sell the asset. This is not an orderly transaction. The price that one gets in a distress sale is not a price in orderly transaction. So this transaction should be orderly and it assumes that transaction has an exposure to market. Reasonable exposure, it assumes. For a period of time that is required for marketing activities, Orderly transaction assumes exposure to market for a period of time that is required for marketing activities, usual time, 
time that is generally taken or generally allowed, time that is customary for such transactions, that you get the right price. So the transaction should have exposure to market for a reasonable period of time. And this transaction should be between market participants. This transaction should be between market participants. When we are saying market participants, we are saying buyer and sellers in the market. And these buyers and sellers should be independent. So this is a transaction between buyers and sellers. And these buyers and sellers are independent. These buyers and sellers are not related. This is not a transaction between father and son. This is not a transaction between two brothers. This is not a transaction between you and your wife. If you sell an asset just for $10 to your wife, that is worth more. Let's say you sell an asset that has a value of $5,000. Just for $10 to your wife, can we say the fair value of the asset is $10? No, value is much higher. Value is $5,000. We cannot take this $10 as the fair value. We cannot take this $10 as the price. Because we have to take the price in an orderly transaction between market participants, that is buyer and sellers in the market who are independent, not related. Such buyers and sellers are knowledgeable. That is, they have understanding about the asset and liability. They have pretty good knowledge and understanding about the asset or the liability. They are willing to enter into sale or purchase transaction. They have that ability to enter into a sale or purchase transaction. They have that ability to buy. They have the ability to sell. So this is how fair value is defined in topic A20 by FASB. Fair value is the price that you would get to sell an asset or you would pay to transfer a liability in an orderly transaction between market participants at the measurement date. And whenever you have to calculate fair value of an asset or a liability, this definition guides you in determining its fair value. All right, students. I hope this was helpful. We'll connect again. Take care.